Good afternoon, St. Paul's Pastor Wade here with another Minute in God's Word. And today, uh, the Word of God that comes to us is very appropriate considering what we're preparing to celebrate with our Festival of the Reformation this upcoming uh, Sunday. We read selected verses from Psalm 46 that served as uh, inspiration for Luther's famous hymn, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Uh, those words ring ever true uh, still to this day, that truly a mighty fortress, a great fortress, a great refuge and strength, a very present help is our God. Uh, sometimes when we're caught in the midst of the busyness of life, we can feel as if God is distant, or maybe God used to help us, but he's not as active in our lives. But this psalm is a great reminder that God is a very present help in the times of trouble, uh, a very present help every single day of our life, and that truly he is the fortress, the refuge, the strength we go to when we're struggling. What a great reminder for us as we continue about our weeks, as we continue uh, going towards the end of 2020 and, and the upcoming holiday season. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the many gifts that you've given us, especially uh, the reminder that uh, Psalm 46 gives us that you are a refuge, that you are our strength, that you are truly a, a mighty fortress, a very present help in times of trouble. We pray that you would uh, keep us mindful of, the, of that great reminder, that you are truly present in our lives, that you are helping us. And though sometimes with the busyness of life we can't always see it, let us never forget that you are with us. That's not only what you promised to us uh, in the psalm, but also what your son uh, gave to us through his sacrifice, through his death, and through his resurrection. We pray all these things in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great week, and we'll be back later in the week with another Minute in God's Word.